that really, that really matters. Because just in case we gotta stay out there until y'all close camp, just in case. Uh, uh, just in case we gotta stay up there, you know. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll hit you up. Hey, uh. So I'm, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this for later. Somebody give me uh, John. Give me John chapter uh. Give me John chapter 15. John chapter 15, verse 16, man. Yep, this is John 15, verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain. That's right, that's right. All throughout the four corners of the earth, you got the Israelites, the chosen men, the prophets, out here declaring the destruction of Babylon, which is known as ba America. America, which is known as Babylon in the Bible. You got brothers throughout the four corners of the earth declaring the destruction of the system of America. And if you want to talk literal, America will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. That's right, man. All right? These centurions will be destroyed, which are known as today as so-called police officers, man. These, these Saturians, you know, because they're backed by their leaders. Their leaders, these, these, they are, these fake Jews, you know, these fake Jews, man, they, they, they run the world, man, you know, they control the whole world, they control the gold, the silver, everything that, that, that you see. But they're, they're, they're only man. The scriptures say that they're just a man. They're man. You know, they're nothing. You know? They're reputed as nothing, man. But the most high has, has is at a very low level. You know, we can't do anything, you know? You got one of our brothers arrested all for nothing, all right? All for nothing. But we gonna, we gonna be out here to the end of this thing, man. You know? Even if they gotta kill us, man. Guess what? If they, if they try to kill us, man, or do whatever they gotta do to us, do it. Because it's not done in vain, man. Because we, we read that scripture earlier in Hebrews, man. This thing is not done in vain. This thing is done to wake up the elect of our people, man. You know? Because this place will be destroyed. It's unjust. It's wicked, man. How could you live in a wicked society like this, man? It's so unjust, man. They can take away your goods, your family. And, and right now, we are in martial law, man. You people don't know it yet, man. You people don't know it yet, man. We are in martial law today, man. That's why they can take you. You don't even have to commit a, a crime, man. They can snatch up your family. They can take everything away from you. And I, and I forget, I forget what that's called, man. But but right now we're up under martial law, man. You know, smile, smile now, man. But guess what? There's gonna come a time where you're not gonna be smiling, man. All right? Give me a uh, hold that, bro. Give me a. Uh, give me Luke chapter six. Luke chapter 6, verse 24, man. Because a lot of people out here, man, we telling our people we're great, but they out here smiling. We telling them America is going to be destroyed. The kingdom of heaven is going to be established, established. But they smiling at us. They laughing at us, man. Like the brother always say, man, yeah, you got us, man. But guess what, man? Guess what? You're going to see a lot of things that you ain't going to believe, man. And those pretty smiles that you people like to have, they're going to be turned to frowns real soon, all right? Go ahead, bro. Luke. Yeah, Luke uh, 6 and 20. Nah, yeah, start at 6 and 20, bro. Luke chapter 6 verse 20. Yep. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of your house. That's right, man. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're the poor. The prophets, we're the poor. Because we are the prophets, man. We're the poor. That's why we're subject to payments. We're subject to go to the heathens in the need of one of all things. We're subject up under this devil, man. You know, they they still lying on us, man. They took they took they took the brother for no reason. They out here lying on us. 
All we said was death to America. All we said was death to Israel, man. All we said is that you're not the real Jews. And they just, and they just came and snatched the brother for no reason, man. Why? Because the devil knows that he got a short time. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Blessed are ye that hunger now. Yep. For ye shall be filled. That's right. We hungering out here. We hungering. That's right. We don't have the kingdom. That's why 2,000 years ago, the disciples asked Yahweh whom they ignorantly called Christ, they said, look, will thou at this time restore again to us the kingdom of heaven? But it won that time. But now we're getting into those times. That's why the devil coming up on us because he knows that he had a short time, man. That's right. And the devil... Uh, uh, and, and, and latter term means a, a deceiver, a liar, all right? You so-called white people are liars, man. You know? You're devils, man. You all right? Go ahead. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. That's right. No, read that again. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. That's right. The one-third, I mean, Salaki, the one-third, the 144,000, we're going to laugh. We're weeping right now. We're weeping for all the unjust... Mainly the men. We're signing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst of Rob, man. Ezekiel 9 and 4. We're signing and crying. We're signing and crying for our brother that just got locked up. Reset. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 50. Uh -huh. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Uh huh. Because they have walked in great pride. That's right. These these devils, they're pride, man. They're powerful. These centurions, which were all Edomites, they were powerful, man. Why? Because they can't do anything to us. So they why? What they do? They lock us up. We get right back out and preach the truth. They can't do anything to us, man. Only thing they can do is chop our heads off, man. But guess what? That's that soul goes on, man. If you if you're a prophet and you died in this truth, guess what? You're gonna be you're gonna be risen up first. Because it tells you in the scriptures, the dead, the dead shall rise first, man. That's why we're not afraid of death, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Luke. Uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Uh-huh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Men hate us out here, man. Men hate us out here. Why? Because we got the truth. We telling you America's going to be destroyed. We got the truth. You know, how salty can we be out here, man? All is unjust going on out here. How salty can you be? We out here, we're being as salty as we can be, man. Right. We still get locked up, man. Go ahead, bro. You know why? Because we, we at the end of this thing, man. That's right. We at the end of this thing, bro. That's right. And when they shall separate you from their company. Now hold that, bro. Give me uh, Revelation 9. That what you just read before, before the brother got taken. Revelation 9, was it 12 or 9? Or 9 to 12? The devil? Because he got a short time? That's what's going on right now. The time is short. The time is real short. So they, they, they're mustering up anything, man. That the whole thing right there, that was a setup, man. They're coming up with anything to come against us. Why? Because we're coming, to, we're coming against their kingdom, their wicked society. Whole time we telling them America's gonna be destroyed. They don't like that. You think they like that? They don't like that, man. These Jews, man, that's how you know they control the whole world, man. That's right. These Jews, these fake Jews, they control the whole world, man. They coming up to the, yo, know, he, he, they threaten us. That bullshit, man. They had another Jew recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you know these Jews, they control everything, man. Yep. That's why if you're in the music entertainment industry, you can't say anything about a Jew, man. You say anything bad about a Jew, you're dead. You're dead, man. Look at Tupac. Oh, Look at the, uh, the Illuminati. Dead. Man. Dead, man. Kanye West, mother, dead. You can look at any black sacrifices, man. Say anything about the so-called Jew, you're dead. They asked uh, that hip hop, that, that, that hip hop star of the game, man. It was an interview, you can look that up on YouTube. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Jews. Do you believe in uh, the end of the world and all this and that? Then they asked him a question about the Jews. They said, what do you think about the Jews? Do you believe in the Illuminati? He was like, whoa, I choose not to say anything about that. Shoot, and he was not joking. He was dead ass serious, man. You say anything about a Jew, you're dead, man. You're dead, man. Second Timothy chapter two, verse uh, 10. 
right? Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. That's right. We are doing all these things for the elect. We are doing all these things for our brethren. That's right. For the one third. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's why we do these things, man. Right. We're fools for Christ's sake. Because we know, we know, we know what's to come. That's right. We don't want this kingdom. This kingdom is wicked, man. You see what just happened? Yeah. All this unjust going on out here. Here it is. I'm saying, I'm saying things that are right to your mind. Not supposed to be sleeping with little boys. Right. Not supposed to men, same sex, sleeping with the same sex. And here it is, they come and lock the brother up. I'm saying things coming out the Bible. That's how you know this, this world is wicked, man. Right. This world is wicked, man. You people are wicked, man. That they, may, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is eternal glory. Eternal glory, man. Right. We're going to be in the kingdom of heaven for eternity, all right? There's not, that's, there's going to, not going to be any more wickedness on the planet Earth. And if you are uh, doing wickedness, which I'm pertaining to you heathens, you're going to be put to naught, man. That's right. You know? Because the old earth is going to be ushered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Which are the law, statutes, and commandments. The way that you're really supposed to be living. Because this here in America, this ain't living, man. That's right. This ain't living, man. This is dying. You're dying. You're, doing, you're, you're dying slow, fast. It's a main point, right? You know? Verse 11, huh. it, is, it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. That's right. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. That's right, we suffer. We suffer for our Lord, man. Because he suffer for us. Boy. If we deny him, he, will also, he also will deny us. That's right, that's why, we, that's why we are here announcing the name of our Heavenly Father and our big brother, all right? That's right. You know, we'll, we'll suffer, we'll suffer out here. We'll die out here, man. That's right. And we mean that, man. See the brother just got arrested. Then they saying the script, saying the scriptures. Y'all wish I said they take you, take no thought what they should, what you should say. That's for right. the spirit should show you what you should, what should ha happen. That's right. Brothers be having visions, man, getting taken. But guess what? Brothers always have visions where there's a blank. Why? Yep. The Lord may have gave that brother spiritual power to fight back. Right. You never know. Cause my know my dream, they took me. I was the, I was one of the main speakers, man. They took me. They put me in a wagon, man. They was, they, was, they was doing all types of things in the dream, man. And they, they, they tried to harm me, then all of a sudden, I couldn't take it anymore. I just woke up out the dream. The old dream went blank, man. I think after that time, hey, do the, do the part, hey, Lord willing, man, the Lord gave me that power, man. You know? You got some more on that? Uh, <sighs> so real quick. Okay, come. I mean, the Lord, you got man, a lot, bro. Yeah, let me just say this real quick. Okay, you got man, a lot. Then, uh, come out here to go to work, man. It's no need for you to be afraid, man. Because, you know, uh, most of the brothers heard about the situation with the, uh, the Arizona Phoenix mm -hmm. camp. Yeah. Bringing guns to camp. Yeah. You can't be kind of way and come, you know, to do the work, the work to the most high, man. You got to have faith and have patience, man. Uh, I mean, also understand that, you know, brothers are young, man. You know, in Babylon, man, you can't take on uh, Esau's gift. Uh, he's just not uh, some protection, you know. All you need is just this, you know. Because you're, I mean, you're gonna accomplish more things, man, using the scriptures, man. I mean, the spiritual warfare, hey, it's, it's down pat here. Hey, you know those scriptures for that. That's right, I'm here. That's right. Man. Uh, let me read this real quick. Uh, right. uh, Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh hath not given us the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power. That's right. And of love. That's right. And of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Be not. Thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, mm -hmm. nor of me, his prisoner, mm -hmm. but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the hour. So, so you know, getting arrested, you know, you know, getting bricks thrown on you, you know, losing your job, you know, getting jumped, inspired, you know, comes the authority of doing the most size work. You, know, you can't, you know, say you don't want to go through that and then you don't want to be the man of the Lord. The hour side went through all that madness, you know. The, disciples too so it's like if you get put to death so what you know the most is still gonna raise you up in the last day so there's nothing for you to fear man because you know you see the look on these evil mighty faces man you know you know everything is going down so the best thing you could do is just wait and you know it's right man it's right it's right I'm I'm be patient in the scriptures just like uh, let me just read this real quick death to America man right Death to your to your America, man. That's right. When you call Jesus Christ, man. He's coming back, man. America will be destroyed. It's known as Babylon in the Bible. That's right. 
That's why we out here, man. We here to wake up our people, man. That's right. You all right? I'm just clear this out real quick. I mean, uh, Lamentations shit. chapter 3, verse uh, 25. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, mm -hmm. to the soul that seeketh him. Mm -hmm. Verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait mm -hmm. for the salvation of the Lord. That's right now. Verse 27. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. Mm -hmm. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence, because he hath borne it upon him. He put at it, he put at his mouth in the dust. If so be, there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to him that smited him. He is filled with reproach. For the Lord will not cast off forever. But thou, but, but though he cause grief, that's Mosiah, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For though, for he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men mm -hmm. to crush under his feet mm -hmm. all the prisoners of the earth mm -hmm. to turn aside the right of a man before the face of the most high to subvert a man in his cause mm -hmm. the lord approveth not mm -hmm. who is he that said and it cometh to pass mm -hmm. when the lord commanded it not mm -hmm. so whatever is going to happen the most high is going to ordain it to happen you know so the best you can always do you know Stay in the scriptures, God is spiritual at all times, you know, even though you get caught up because you're in the flesh. You see that, you know, pray to the most side, give you that spirit of patience, man, because it's hard, man, you know. You're going through a lot of uh, frustration, you know. The best you could do, like I said earlier on, man, just with the most high. There's nothing else you could do, man, because you can't take on Esau in the system, man, you know. You can't, you can't. You can't, you can't, win. You can't win this battle, you know, with guns and bombs and the legal system. Just stick with the scriptures, man. That's right. You got anything else, Bob? That's about it. Yeah. Just hold it on. Luke and Luke. Just go hold Luke. We got Luke. Okay, hold that. said that you know in the youth you know come on out don't worry about that you know don't 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 have a worry about what they could do to you this is Job 14 and, and 5 seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass turn from him that he may rest Till he has, till he shall accomplish, accomplish as in Ireland his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout up again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water, which is the living word, right. it will bud and bring forth boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasted away, yea, man giveth up the goats, and where is he? As the waters fell from the sea, and the flood decayeth and drieth up, so man lieth down and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. O oh, thou, O oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, and thou would have keep me secret until thy wrath be past, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. That, that, I mean, that's that's the basis. That's Job crying out to the Lord. He's saying, you know, we understand by what you tell us, Lord, that his days are shortened, his days are determined, but it seems like we're being afflicted every single minute of the day. When, no matter where we turn, we get turned away, we get uh, turned down, our women are against us, our family are against us. It seems like, we, you know, no matter what we do, no matter where we turn, uh, 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 you know, this, this, this wicked spirit is on our, on our backs. But he said, trust in the living waters, because the living waters is going to raise up that bud, and we're the bud. 
right. the house of David is the bud. Right. We gonna be a, 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 a and, and like he said in uh, in, in Isaiah in, in the fourteenth in eleventh chapter that he is the branch, right, and the offspring of David. That's right. And that's what we count on, man. We can't count on nothing but the holy scriptures that's right. and that's right. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. We have nothing else, man. Nothing. Our youth fail us. Our health fail us, our food fail us, everything fails us, man. But this word. Yeah, let me read the scripture real quick. Uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse uh, 18. I'm going to read all the way to the end. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, right. that thou mayest see. Verse 19, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore I repent. Verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. So Yahweh says basically telling you know, the, the Apostle John and, and the same thing applies to us and the elders that you know, there's no other way for you to get, you know, through these uh, battles, man. You know, how are you going to overcome, you know, Esau with his legal system, his technology? You can't do it, man. You know, Yahweh Shai tells you, you know, buy of him gold tried in the fire, which is the scriptures, man. You know, the prophecies, you know, it's coming to pass, even though it will take some time. You still got to wait for it. And it tells you in verse 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, I repent. Because, you know, I mean, out here, you know, we don't claim to be, you know, all that, you know, supernatural, whatever. Like, the best thing you could do is just be humble and repent, you know, have faith. You can't keep the loss 100%, so, you know, you have to rehearse the righteous act. That's right, huh? but That's part of, you know, repenting, you know, it's like, it's a practice. You got to keep on practicing, 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 you know, and then you get that award, which is the kingdom of heaven, you know. There's no other way around it. That's know? right, man. Even if we, we had a, we, we didn't have a reward, We'll still be out here because That's right. this place is wicked, man. That's right. You know, America is wicked, man. But you know, our people want to stay here, man. Just like our people wanted to stay in ancient Egypt, they wanted to go back. They didn't want to go to the Promised Land. They wanted to stay in Egypt, you know, and keep sinning, man. Living up under Egyptians, living up under Egyptians. They ain't, I don't want to be the level, you know. But guess what? According to the Mosai's prophecy, he will destroy New Egypt. He will destroy this place, right. man. You know? And we're going to suffer. We're going to suffer for, for his sake, all right? right? The ones that of us that we're suffering right now. Look at us. We're, we're shit, man. We ain't got shit, man. We work these bullshit jobs, you know? We're nothing out here, you know? Right. We're suffering for our Lord's sake, man. Our God's sake. We gonna keep doing this thing, man, to the end. Because in the scriptures, in uh, Matthew's 24th, I believe it's the 24th chapter. And the brother, can, if some, you can give me for that, give me that. Huh? It says that you know, if we endure this thing to the end, the same shall be safe. The same. No, matter of fact, you ain't gotta get it, bro. He that endure to the end, the same shall be safe. You know. Give me Zephaniah 3 and 8 real quick. Because this thing is, is, is about faith. How deep is your faith? How deep is it? I die, man. That's right. I don't care, I die. I think about dying, man. I think about dying, man, every day, man. But you know what I also think about? I, think, I also think about living. Living to see this thing all the way through. Because we all, we all on the terrorist list. We all on that list, but they demonize us as being terrorists. But really, we're, we're, we're the prophets. We're the, we're Lord, we're the Lord's chosen people. 
But they demons is they they demonize us as terrorists. You got that out? Yeah, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me. We wait, we wait. We waiting on the Lord. We don't care how long it takes either. That's right. Said the Lord unto the day that I rise up to the prey. The day that he rises up to the prey. You said Tories. You Illuminati. You heathens. All you heathens. You two thirds. Of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Because the Lord said it itself. Read the rest of that and get uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Read the rest of that. For my determination is to gather the nations. To gather the nations. Go ahead, bro. That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. To pour upon them his anger. Get a, uh, get Ezekiel 20, uh, 20, get, I think it's Ezekiel 25. Ezekiel 25 and um, start at uh, start at 12. Yeah. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Power, because because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power. Yeah, keep laughing, man. Man, the Most High God, who you don't believe in, is going to destroy this place, man. Real soon, man. Right. Real soon, all right? Go ahead, bro. I will, I will lay, I'm sorry. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. Edom, you so-called white people, man. The most I hate you people, man. Cause you, 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 uh, you enforce wickedness, all right? Go ahead, bro. And will cut off man and beast from it. Man and beast, why? Because it tells you in the law. If a man sleep with man, as he sleep with uh, uh, sleep with another man and sleep with a beast, both of them have committed an abomination. Whoa. The man and the beast shall be put to death. You're not supposed to sleep with animals. That's why the scriptures say that. Go ahead, bro. And I will make it desolate from teeming. That's right. The whole everything, man, that is wicked or betrays wickedness is gonna be destroyed. All right. The angels are gonna be out here. The hundred forty-four thousand. The, the the ones that's left. The, the ones the most are going to use are going to be out here. The missiles are going to be out here ultimately. Go ahead, bro. And they of the dead shall fall by the sword. Uh-huh. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Upon the so-called white race. You so-called white people, man. Go ahead, bro. Upon Edom. Upon you so-called white people. By the hand of my people by the, Israel. By the hand of this people Israel. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Brazilians, you Jamaicans, you Haitians, you Latinos, man, you Native Americans. All of us have went through the same struggle. All of us came here on ships. The Northern Kingdom, which are the Native Americans and the Latinos came here on ships. They were the first people to, to, to dwell in this land, to actually stay here in this land, all right? And then you had the conquistadors Christopher Columbus and all these other people come here afterwards. Then you had the Negroes come here afterwards. Then you had the Negroes from the Western Hemisphere of the different parts of the world, mainly from Europe and West Africa, come here on ships. We all came here on ships, man. Hey, Pop, before you finish that, give me a uh, Deuteronomy. You know what I want. We came here on ships. Uh, 2868. And then jump back to your uh, scripture. Deuteronomy 2868. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With ships. With ships, man. With ships. We all came here on ships, man. Cargo slave ships. They stay they, they cargo slave ships, man. They packaged they packaged us up like sardines, alright? You know, all of us came here on ships, man. But the but the uh the last the last kingdom was the southern kingdom. We came here last. Because the, the northern kingdom like which it consists of the north the uh the Native Americans and the Latinos, they were already here. Then afterwards you came came the Negroes. The Haitians, all, ultimately all the tribes came here on ships, all right? That's, that's according to prophecy. The scripture said we were going to come here again on ships. Again. That's not talking about an actual physical Egypt. That's talking about a spiritual Egypt. Give me Revelation real quick, bro. You know what I want. 
and then jump back to um, Ezekiel. Because for you, you stupid people, you dumb idiots, you're in gross darkness. All right? Because the, the scripture says, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain. That's right. That's right. All throughout the four corners of the earth, you got the Israelites, the chosen men, the prophets, out here declaring the destruction of Babylon, which is known as ba America. America, which is known as Babylon in the Bible. You got brothers throughout the four corners of the earth declaring the destruction of the system of America. And if you want to talk literal, America will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. That's right, man. All right? These centurions will be destroyed, which are known as today as so-called police officers, man. These, these satirians, you know, because they're backed by their leaders. Their leaders, these, these, they are, these fake Jews, but they smiling at us. They laughing at us, man. Like the brother always say, man, yeah, you got us, man. But guess what, man? Guess what? You're going to see a lot of things that you ain't going to believe, man. And those pretty smiles that you people like to have, they're going to be turned to frowns real soon, all right? Go ahead, bro. Luke? Yeah, Luke, uh, 6 and 20. Nice. Yeah, start at 6 and 20, bro. Luke chapter 6 verse 20. Yep. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of your house. That's right, man. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're the poor. The prophets, we're the poor. Because we are the prophets, man. We're the poor. That's why we're subject to payments. We're subject to go to the heathens in the need of one of all things. We're subject up under this devil, man. You know? They they still lying on us, man. They took they took they took the brother for no reason. They out here lying on us. All we said was death to America. All we said was death to Israel, man. That really that really man. Just in case, just in case we gotta stay out there until y'all close camp. Just in case, man. Ah, just in case we gotta stay up there. You know. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll hit you up. Hey, uh. So warm, so warm, I'm, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna so say this for later. Somebody give me uh, John. Give me John chapter. Uh, give me John chapter 15. John chapter 15 verse 16, man. Yep, this is John 15 verse 16. You, you know, these fake Jews, man, they, they, they run the world, man. You know, they control the whole world. They control the gold, the silver, everything that, that, that you see. But they're, they're, they're only man. The scriptures say that they're just a man. They're man. You know, they're nothing. You know? They're reputed as nothing, man, but the most high has, has is at a very low level. You know, we can't do anything, you know? You got one of our brothers arrested all for nothing, all right? All for nothing. But we gonna, we gonna be out here to the end of this thing, man. You know? Even if they gotta kill us, man. Guess what? If they, if they try to kill us, man, or do whatever they gotta do to us, do it. Because it's not done in vain, man. Because we, we read that scripture earlier in Hebrews, man. This thing is not done in vain. This thing is done to wake up the elect of our people, man. You know? Because this place will be destroyed. It's unjust. It's wicked, man. How could you live in a wicked society like this, man? It's so unjust, man. They can take away your goods, your family. And, and right now, we are in martial law, man. You people don't know it yet, man. You people don't know it yet, man. We are in martial law today, man. That's why they can take you. You don't even have to commit a, a crime, man. They can snatch up your family. They can take everything away from you. And I forget, I forget what that's called, man. But but right now we're up under martial law, man. You know, smile, smile now, man. But guess what? There's gonna come a time where you're not gonna be smiling, man. All right? 
give me a uh, hold that, bro. Give me a. Uh, give me Luke chapter six. Luke chapter six, verse twenty-four, man. Cause a lot of people out here, man. We telling our people we're great, but they out here smiling. We telling them America is going to be destroyed. The kingdom of heaven is going to be established. Established. 